Hello everybody, this is TechCut. In this video, what I'm going to be doing is showing you an application that I have been using religiously for about a couple weeks now, and that is the Fluent RSS Reader for Linux. It's completely free, it's completely open source, and it is beautiful. Now, I haven't been the one to use RSS readers, well, until really recently with this application, and that's because most RSS readers out there, or at least the ones I've tried out, Generally, the UI is archaic, they just don't look good, and the features are all over the place. It's Most of them just are not good applications. Now, this application is different. I'm going to go ahead and open it up right here. Uh, in this video, what we're going to do is do a complete walkthrough of everything you could do with it. Go over the settings, customization, and I'm going to kind of go over how I have it set up for myself. So kind of starting with the walkthrough, this is the base application here. Uh, right now I have it open on my It's Foss feed. I'd highly recommend you check out that website. It's a very good Linux news website, but that's kind of beside the point. Here, this is the general layout. If you uh, go ahead and hover your mouse over the actual articles, it has a really nice animation where it brings up and kind of shows you a summary or the first couple sentences of the particular article. And then when you actually do open up an article, it displays it absolutely beautifully. Uh, it kind of blurs out the background and displays it kind of like a card right here. Then you could go ahead, read through it. You could use these arrows right here on the side to actually cycle in between the articles that are displayed on your feed. And then if you go up here, you have a couple different options such as mark as unread, or you can star the article and that can be used later. We'll go over that. It's kind of a, a way to organize your actual feed. Right here, you have options to load the full content. And this isn't really a good example article for this because uh, It's Foss does a really, really good job with their RSS feeds and actually give you all the content out of the gate. A uh, better example of somebody who doesn't do it as well is OMG Ubuntu. And then open up one of their articles here. We can see that it just kind of displays a little preview of what we're wanting to read. So that's what this button's for, load full content. It will actually pull all the content from the web page and display it through here. Uh, additionally, you can display the web page through here. So if you click on load web page, you can see this is actually how it would look on the OMG Ubuntu website. In turn, it also loads all the ads, all the comments, and everything else that you would want to see. If you click these dots right here, you have a couple more options. You can open it externally, which will open it up in a web browser of your choice. Uh, you have copy link. If you do want to share articles, you can hide the article. There's a font size option. And here is a QR code. Uh, the actual font size option, you have to have it in either this mode. You can't do it when you're displaying the full web page. But personally, I like to have the text a little bit bigger because this is a 1440p display and it just helps me read it a little bit better. So that's kind of the gist of the articles. There's actually a setting that I'll show you in just a sec where you can have, well, you can set the default of how this loads, but we'll get into that in just a second. On this page where we actually see our articles, there's a various amount of options here. Up on the top, you can refresh, which will reload and search for more uh, articles that have been published since you've last done that. Here you can mark all as read, view your notifications. Right here you can change the view, so by default this is the card view. It's personally my preference, but if you do prefer, you could go with a list view. So this changes it to kind of a, a email client style thing where you can see the thumbnails, titles. Click on that and view everything here. And then when you're in that view, it will move this down here so then you can actually load the full content and have all those settings right there. Go up here, we can change it to a magazine view. So this kind of looks more like a uh, how people lay out their blogs. So that's an option. And then we have the compact view, which this is kind of how most RSS feeds look. So if you actually prefer this, you can set it up this way. Personally, I do not. I prefer card view. Here you have a couple different options. So filtering, this is what I was talking about with the unread and star. You can view only unread articles. So if you hit that, it will only display things I have not yet opened. Or you can do start only. I don't have anything starred, so nothing's gonna pop up. So let's get rid of all the filters. And here you have some search options. You could have it case sensitive, search full text, and show hidden articles. The hidden article thing, you can set up rules. Uh, I'll show you that in a sec too, where you can make it so articles with certain text or things like that are automatically hidden. 
If we go ahead and get out of this real quick, actually let's just click over here. Here we have all of our different subscriptions, categories, feeds. Here you can actually search for things. So if I wanted to search this for Ubuntu, which it's OMG Ubuntu, so there's gonna be a lot of results. But you can search through your articles there if you're looking for certain keywords. So Pine Phone could be one. Let's see if something comes up. Yep, so if you're looking for an article specific on something, you could all, always search it up. Clicking back over here, you could view all articles. So for me, this source posts all the time, so it's not gonna look too good. This is the uh, spokesman, it's a local news source. But speaking of, here are your different categories. I have Linux news, local news. So if I click Linux news, it will display all the content from, from my Linux news source. If I go over here, click local news, it will display all my local news. So very, very nice. Uh, so now what we're going to get into is some of the settings and configuration options that you have. And to actually get into settings, you just click this little gear icon right here, and you have a couple different tabs of various things that you could do. You can import and export various OPML files to bring in and bring out your actual list of sources. And then under here, you can add source. So all you do is find the source URL, paste it in here, and then it will import the source and import all the articles and stuff like that. Uh, you can go ahead and change a lot of these titles and everything like that. I've had to change a couple of them just so it looks a little bit better. For example, right here I have BBC News. If I go ahead and click on that, I could change this. So let's get rid of home, hit edit name, and you can see now it is BBC News. You do notice that the BBC News does not have an icon. So if I wanted to, I could actually go, uh, go to icon and enter a custom URL to change the icon. So if you do have sources that don't provide one or it looks weird or something like that, you could always change that through this too and you can always change the URL as well. Uh, right here you have the fetch frequency limit. I keep all mine at unlimited, but if you do want to, you can change that. And then here, this is probably one of my favorite features, the default open target for articles. Uh, you saw that the OMG Ubuntu only had a summary by default. This is actually a good example here. If we go over to OMG Ubuntu, uh, RSS full text is how the publisher has it set by default. Uh, you can do load full content, load web page, or open the article externally by default. Uh, so for OMG Ubuntu, let's change this to load full content. And then if we go out of here, go to OMG Ubuntu open up an article, you will see now by default, it's loading the full content. Super handy feature. That's one of my favorite things about this. Uh, if we go back into settings here, uh, we can start messing with groups. So I have two groups by default, Linux news and local news. And you can see on this page, they're identified as groups. Now I have BBC news here, which is identified as a source. So I actually want to make a new group. I'm gonna call this world news create that group and then it's really easy to add things you just click on the source right here select it now for the selected source I'm going to put that in world news click add to and now you can see world news now has one source so if I go back over here under world news you see BBC news now if I go back over to settings we can get into the rules now this is kind of what I was talking about earlier of filtering things out uh, you saw me search earlier for PinePhone. Now, if I didn't want to see anything to do with PinePhone, uh, which I don't, I love the PinePhone project. And actually, I do have one coming, so subscribe, stay tuned. I will be covering that in a future video. Uh, but if I didn't want to see anything, I would just go to the source that I would like to add a rule to. It's FOSS, for example. So we can say if the title, title or content or author so if there's like a specific author on a website that you don't want to hear from, uh, you can set that to uh, not show up, or you can set it automatically star specific articles, which is really handy. But if you, for example, didn't want anything to do with the Pine Phone, you would type in uh, Pine Phone, and then for Pine Phone, Pine Phone, for your actions, you would select like a hide article and don't notify and then it wouldn't notify you anything to do with the pine phone from this source. Alternatively, you could set it to star articles. If you're really into the pine phone, it'll automatically star any article that features or mentions the pine phone in the title or content. So that's kind of how the rules work. And I'll actually confirm that because that's kind of a cool rule to have. 
Uh, you can always edit and delete rules just by selecting on them. Uh, if we go over to services, they do have a couple different syncing RSS services available, including Google Reader, Feedbin, and a few others. So if you use that, you have the availability to do that. Under preferences, this is just general system preferences. This is how I mine set up at the moment. On this, I use the uh, light mode, which is follow system. I could switch it to dark mode too if I would like to, but I prefer to keep it at light mode. For the language, I just have it follow the system. So for me, it's English, but these are the options that you have. And then the next option is your fetch interval. So for me, it will automatically, every 30 minutes, go out, reload, and pull any new articles that have been published. You could change that to whatever you would prefer. The default search engine for me is DuckDuckGo. We have the option of Google, Bing, and Bayuru. I'm, I don't know how to say that. DuckDuckGo is what I go with. Uh, you could clean up so you could delete articles from, it goes by the week, either one, two, three, four, or delete all articles so you can delete things through that and clear your cache. Now under about, I mentioned this, but this is a completely free and open source application. Uh, so if you go ahead and click on this, it will bring up the GitHub page for the, whoa, it will bring up the GitHub page where you can view the code. It's open source, it follows the free and open source principles, so you do have that, um, not the option, but that's available for everybody ultimately. Um, it's great. I absolutely love it. Down in the description, I will have all the information that you need to go ahead, download, install this. Additionally, I'll have uh, links for all the RSS feeds for kind of the Linux stuff. If you want to go ahead and copy and paste those in there so you can kind of get everything set up and customize starting with some of those Linux news sources that I featured in this video. But that basically wraps that up. Big thank you to my Patreon subscribers for supporting me. If you would like to become a Patreon subscriber, there'll be a link in the description. I thank you so much if you do. If you don't want to do that, that is more than fine. You can support this content by liking this video, going down in the description and telling me what RSS reader you're using if you plan on using this one or any other kind of news applications or anything on Linux that you like to use. Uh, we all like to hear that. It's helpful for everybody, so please leave a comment down below. Subscribe. If you want to see more content like this, like I said, Pine Phone stuff will be coming. So if you're interested in that, subscribe. Uh, other than that, I hope you have a beautiful day and goodbye.